Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales. Check out over 200 photos, full description and price at chasecoach.com. I appreciate you watching today. I've got a 2007 Renegade rear bedroom classic motorhome. We've been on a kick lately of selling some older cherries. I'm talking about the cream of the crop, as nice as they come, okay? Beautiful day, got pops set up there with the old John Deere, fixing to do some mowing out here. Um, but I've got a nice one for you. Again, 07 Renegade Classic, 45 foot overall length. This is a triple slide, sleeps eight people. As you can see, we have the big queen size bunk over the cab. Freightliner Columbia chassis with a 450, 450 horsepower Mercedes in it. 12 speed auto shift trans so you just put it in gear and you let out on that throttle or on that off that brake get on the throttle a little bit it sounds like you are a professional shifter you will never miss a gear in this thing i promise you anyways 450 mercedes 12 speed auto shift we got three slides as you can see one here on the driver's side we got one on the passenger side and the one that comes out of the rear full body paint twin 70 gallon fuel tanks so we'll make our way around the outside and then we'll take a little pass through the inside 12.5 onan diesel generator with 1300 original hours on it toyo tires i, be, I believe they were uh, dated late 18 so were placed in like 2019 40 000 pound hitch on the rear as you can see, we've got glad hand fittings for air ride or air brakes. We also have the 50 amp outlet over there on the left, so you can connect your trailer to it and run off the generator that the coach has. Rear backup camera connection, full body paint, and I love on a lot of the older Renegades, from what I can remember, they did not paint the sides of the slide out. I like that. It just makes it all look symmetrical. Have one of the big, I um, believe it's a Dometic brand awning, or maybe it's an A&E, but a full powered 120 volt awning. Does have a 2000 watt inverter on it, lots of storage. So I'm gonna pause the video for just a second. When we come back, I'm gonna have all the storage boxes open up. We have a lot of storage on this one. Uh, it also has the um, their manual, but it has the window awnings or window shades. So I'm gonna open those up as well so you can Get a good look at all that. So I'll be right back, hang tight. We're gonna go through all of the storage boxes. Again, 07 Renegade Classic, 45 foot. All right, got it all opened up to show you the outside compartments. Something I rarely do is engine bay in, I mean, they're all nice, but this one as clean as they come. Uh, we just did a full service on this 450 Mercedes. So uh, it is greased, oil, oil filter, fuel filters all changed and ready to go. Uh, first compartment down here is gonna be your batteries. So on the left is the engine batteries. I think there's three or four of the 31 series under there. Uh, the batteries on the right here on the sliding trays for the house. Those are brand new. And actually, I think these over here under that cover are also brand new. So new batteries on the coach all the way around. 54 gallon propane tank. So your propane is going to run your hot water. It's going to run your furnace. Um, your fridge will also run off of propane. And then this coach also has one of the Weber outdoor coolers on a tray back in one of the rear compartments. Um, next is going to be your black and gray tank pretty sure on this one i'll have to double check but i'm thinking we're like 80 gallons of gray and maybe 50 black on this one got a black tank flush as you can see and then those are the gray tanks up there again toyo tires dated 18 were installed in 19 12 5 onan with 1346 hours also just recently serviced um, back here is your shore power cord along with your transfer switch. We mentioned the hitch earlier, 40,000 pound hitch, and I've got all of the adapters. I've got the two and five sixteenths ball, which is on it now. I've got the two inch receiver, 
three inch receiver, panel hitch, whatever you need, I've got it. Something they were doing back in like the 06, 07, 08, and maybe even into 10 is putting the ladders on the back. So when this slide goes in, it does give you access to the back, uh, to go up the back of the coach and access the roof. Kind of handy. I mean, very few things you'll probably need to be on the roof for, but uh, when you need to go up there, having that ladder is neat. Weber grill pulls out on the little tray unfolds. Does have the uh, Genturi exhaust vent, as you can see in the bag, and then this is just a huge storage compartment down here. We'll go on up. This one right here uh, is a storage compartment on a sliding that has a sliding tray. We do have one of the Dometic outdoor cooler slash freezers that will mount on that and slide in and out. Another storage bay, electric entry, entry steps, as you can see there. Next one up is also going to be storage, and it has the 2,000 watt Magnum Energy Inverter in it. And then the next one up is going to be storage. In the little blue banks is uh, leveling pads. So this does have automatic hydraulic leveling on it, but the little uh, plastic or rubber pads you put down, you know, just in case you were in some sand or, or dirt or rocks or something like that. Um, inside the cab, clean as a pin. All the carpet is black. The floor mats, I mean, everything is just all original. As you can see, our leveling panel over there above the driver's seat. CB radio, 42,000 miles on this one. Um, all flex steel furniture. I mean, just the good stuff. Really, really, really good quality. So, all right, that does it for the outside. Oh, I did uh, run the window awnings they are manual but i did pull all those out to show you they're in good shape um so let's take a little uh, tour through the interior all right take a little tour of the inside here limited edition chase motorsports rug on entry all right so um this coach sleeps eight people we'll start out just kind of going around the seating arrangement so on the passenger side you have a sofa that does turn into a queen size air mattress bed um, so the bed comes up and out and then you inflate it to make a nice comfy queen size bed again flex steel furniture throughout um, you've probably watched some of my videos in the past i'm a huge fan of the uh, flex steel product i feel like for the money it was some of the best you could get and um, very unfortunate that they don't service the rv industry anymore but this one has it in it, so if you're interested in this coach, that's all that matters. Um, we do have the um, air ride driver and passenger seat, and they both do swivel around. So uh, those do swivel around where you can face the back area. Again, the cab I showed you earlier, clean as the outside. Um, queen size bed above the cab. Um, Samsung TVs throughout the coach. Um, and oh, it does have the third AC. So that AC was not there originally. That was added. Uh, there used to be just a vent there. So uh, they added the third AC to it. Um, back here on the driver's side, we have kind of like a J lounger sofa. Now that turns into a, um, I'm going to say a full, maybe a queen size bed, but it's not an air hide bed. It's actually like a a jackknife sofa so there's a little lever you pull and then it pulls up and out and again if you want to see uh, some photos of what it looks like unfolded go to chasecoach.com uh, if this one is still for sale you will notice uh, or you'll see all the pictures there's like 200 photos online um, does have the big dinette and we could turn this dinette into a sleeper as well it's not currently set up to sleep anyone you've got to make eight, you've got two above the cab, you've got two over here on the passenger side, two here, and then you've got a king size bed back here in the master. So that's where I get eight, but we could actually put the dream dinette bracket on this one and convert it um, into a bed as well. As you can see, original keys, original Freightliner manuals, the original manuals from Renegade, um, the owner's handbook, all that included the, the woodwork in this thing, very ahead of its time for uh, for 2007, black vinyl with the um, the wood wainscoting around the lower part of the coach, day and night shades all through it. Uh, we do have a switch ordered for this light. The switch was broke, but it will be repaired before someone purchase, uh, purchases the coach. So 
Um, over here, across from the dinette, we've got a little kitchen area, large sink. I do have the covers, the matching covers. Actually, I think they're wood on this one. I'm pretty sure that they are, they're wood that go there, but nice. They fit good. Um, two burner electric cooktop. We have the microwave convection oven combo, stainless, very clean. Looks like it's been used very little. Again, only 42,000 miles on this one. Now, let me take you back to 07 for just a second. The old Black & Decker Space Maker coffee machine, okay? You don't see that anymore. Um, up above the kitchen area, we've got our electronics. It does have the track vision, in motion satellite, Samsung uh, surround sound DVD, of course, direct TV box, all that stuff there. Tons of storage. I mean, there's just cabinets galore in this thing. There is cabinets everywhere, okay? Um, the ladder for the bunk, you can put it on the side or you can also uh, hook it here to access the bunk there. Uh, it does have a combination of black carpet. The carpet's in great condition. And then in the kitchen and bath area, we've got uh, black tile with uh, with kind of a gray colored grout. So um, make her well past the kitchen. We've got a little pantry area with a couple sliding drawers. Um, lots and lots and lots of storage in this one. It's all very, very nice. And you can tell original. Um, do have the Dometic. Uh, this is the French door and it is cold as they come. Okay. So the uh, fridge and freezer works great. You've got storage in both of the doors, freezer on the left, fridge on the right. Um, and by the way, if, um, you know, if you were a huge fan of like the Samsung or the new, uh, Whirlpool fridges that we're using, uh, the new residential style that you would see in a, in a new coach, I do sell those, and we do have one that'll fit in here. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. I'm just throwing that out there. We do offer that as an upgrade uh, along with the uh, outdoor Dometic cooler. So, you do have a mid-bath. So, this coach is a mid-bath. As you can see, that door, that's going to take us into the area. Just a small room where the Tegma electric flush toilet. You got your panel back there on the back. A um, little magazine rack. Some storage over the top. Again, super, super, super nice. Okay, we'll spin around. So across from the toilet is going to be the shower. And this is back when they were using one that kind of reminded you of like a little tub. But it's a one-piece fiberglass tub-shower combo, okay? Overhead skylight. You can see how clear that thing is. Um, the coach is not set outside. I mean, I'm not going to say it's never been outside, obviously, but very little. It's been stored indoors the majority of its life and it shows um huge shower you have a pocket door here so there's a door that actually goes from here slides over kind of by the fridge there that creates the mid bath you do have your own sink a uh, little vanity sink there overhead medicine cabinet with some nice lighting um custom mirror with a renegade on it um now back to the master bedroom king size bed so I sold an 07 last week, and that was one of the differences. It was a 43 foot, this is a 45, and the difference is it had a queen size bed, this one has a king, and that's where your extra two foot on this one comes from. So, very neat nightstand, lots of nice cabinets, does have the bedroom ceiling fan. I like the windows. In fact, I wish this was an option on the new one. I really liked these real tall windows. Of course, they have the day and night shade that you can pull down for privacy, but kind of makes it more homey feeling, you know, feels like home with the bigger windows in the bedroom. Uh, you do have Samsung, all smart TVs. So on the front, up there in the main and back here in the back, the TVs were updated a, a couple years ago. Uh, cedar lined cabinetry back here in the back. Lots and lots and lots of nice um, drawers. You do have a full size wardrobe back here, sliding mirrored doors. Nice lighting in there too. So it's an 07 on the title, but I think this would pass for a 17 or 18. It's that nice. And uh, you're more than welcome to come check it out. Uh, a lot of these transactions we do, people buy them sight unseen. So that's why I try to do a video on each coach uh, and we just put it out there to the public for everyone to get the same view of it. But 45 foot, 07, 42,000 miles, 450 horse Mercedes, 
for power. Uh, it does have the 12-speed Meritor transmission, auto shift, so no clutch pedal. Uh, full body paint, 150 gallons of fresh water under the bed, 140 gallons of fuel. Uh, it's the um, it's a 3600 XM is the model number. Uh, so it's 36 foot box plus the cab. But I believe that covers everything. Appreciate you tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you have a chance. We're trying to grow our channel and I really appreciate the feedback from you guys. We we take take what you uh, what you tell us and uh, and try to to use it to improve each video. So thanks for watching. Financing available. We deliver nationwide. Trades accepted. So um, also, if you are selling a coach like this, please reach out to me. We'll throw my number up there on the screen. But would love to earn your business. So thanks again. And any questions, give us a shout. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer.